<laughs> uh, it's a distinct honor for me to, uh, to introduce the speaker on the topic because I've been a fan of Tesla for many, many years. And I certainly agree with the idea that he's long unsung. Uh, but to get me out of the way, let me say that Dr. Chuk is Associate Professor of Electrical Engineering at Caltech. Uh, and he's doing research uh, in the electronic energy processing systems. Um, I don't want to read the whole set of his uh, uh, credits here because I think we'd, we're all much, we will all be much more impressed with him once he gets into his talk and his demonstration. So, Dr. Chuk, would you proceed? Um. Let me hook you up to this microphone. Uh, it'll restrict you just a little, but it'll, make, it'll let people hear you a lot better. If you put that in your pocket, we can clip this on your tie. Now you should be in business and uh, do you have the uh, the clicker for the, uh, for the slides? That's the lots of uh, There are some. Did we put it in your suitcase? I think perhaps? it could be. Okay. That's it over there. Yeah. That's it. I have a variable speed uh, drive. I talk faster as, as we go toward the end. So. <laughs> You know, don't, I hope you don't mind my accent a little bit, but let's uh, first, let me ask you a question since there are so many people here. I always like to start to ask how many of uh, you know, know who, who Thomas Alva Edison was? <laughs> you know, I'm always impressed. How many of you, how many of you know who Tesla is? Yeah, I'm equally impressed. <laughs> then my standard joke doesn't work. <laughs> well. You may, you probably know because you, you read the, the announcement about Tesla, that's right. But how many of you know what Tesla did? Well, I'm impressed, I better leave. <laughs> I'll get some really grilling questions then. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's get started. First, uh, Nikola Tesla is, uh, was born in 1856, July 10. And in fact, let's start uh, First, with uh, some uh, view graphs and uh, slides. Uh, slides, right? This is just uh, introductory. And, uh, okay, let's get this going. Okay. There you go. Okay. <laughs> what do you know? This is engineering, right? <laughs> Okay, this is a Euro backwards, actually. But. <laughs> all right, we'll, we'll live through it. But I hope all the other slides are okay. If not, let's, let's do something in a hurry. Um, let's see. Okay, okay, very good. Well, you see the Europe, and the black spot there is the present-day Yugoslavia. That's where uh, Nikola Tesla was born in 1856, July 10, as I said. In fact, of course, at that time, this wasn't a single country. Yugoslavia was split apart into two halves. One half on the left-hand side was belonging to the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The other part, Serbia, was an independent country. And only after the First World War I, the country was united into a single country after 1918. But let's, uh, this is a birthplace of Nikola Tesla. This is a town called the Smiljan in Lika. In fact, my father was born in a village very close uh, nearby. He was born in a house on the right-hand side, and what you see on the left-hand side is a church, because his father was a minister in a, in fact, this was his father. However, it's uh, reported that uh, he really inherited his inventive genius from his mother, even though she was an uneducated woman, but uh, she was uh, having extremely uh, good memory. She was able to memorized the whole big poems in Yugoslavia. And she was uh, also inventive on her own, making some uh, home appliances on her own. Well, his father wanted him to, his father wanted him to go and become a priest. But er very early on, Nikola Tesla showed inventive genius. In fact, uh, when he was only about 
five years old, he made the promise, uh, in fact, that he was going to reap the power of uh, the falls of the water and made a little water wheel. In the later, many years later, in fact, uh, well past his uh, major inventions on uh, polyphase systems, he came up with what's called now Tesla turbine. In fact, uh, Tesla turbine is at present time, in fact, his concept was even at, at the very early age uh, came up, but uh, there were a lack of materials which could withstand those pressures, and in fact, it waited until maybe last uh, 10 years or so that some first efforts are being made to make a Tesla turbine. This building here is uh, the high school in a uh, town called Gospich, where he went. And of course, at that point in time, you know, he, uh, in fact, the uh, story goes that he was very uh, sick, uh, and uh, his father promised him that uh, he won't insist on him going into the parochial school, but uh, he'll let him uh, go to electrical engineering in Graz. And that helped him uh, recover from the illness, because he was almost uh, at the deathbed for Julian. He recovered from it and went to his, this is his picture when he was uh, in the high school days. Now, what I showed here is a uh, front in uh, Salzburg, Salzburg, or Salzburg, Salzburg in Germany. This is the, this is the building, in fact, uh, in Salzburg, uh, it's uh, the place where he first time demonstrated his induction motor. And uh, unfortunately, this first induction motor prototype that he made way back in the 1882-1883 time frame was uh, uh, never, uh, it was lost. But uh, they still put, uh, as you see here, names of the Laplace, Tesla, Planck, Einstein, Rutherford, Bohr, all of the famous names in physics. Well, in, uh, he was uh, attending the, high, uh, the university in Graz first, and uh, after uh, attending some lectures, he noticed that uh, there is uh, some, uh, the commutators the, in the DC motors were really sparking, and he noticed to uh, his professor uh, named Peschel at the time that there should be some way to make an AC motor. And I'll explain a little bit later on the view graphs uh, how, how the concept works. And of course, his professor told him that uh, that's impossible. It's impossible to make an AC motor. And of course, you should never trust your professor, right? <laughs> so, so he didn't either. So he went to Prague. And in fact, it was in Prague uh, where he conceived the idea of the rotating magnetic field that I'll talk a little bit later. And it's an uh, induction motor. He had it in his head, but it was in Salzburg where he first time made the first prototypes. However, uh, he stayed for a little while working in, a, in a Paris. And then he decided to go overseas. And it was 1884 that he went overseas. In fact, it's kind of amazing when you look at it. I was just uh, three years ago in uh, Colorado Springs. Then there was a special um, conference set up uh, honoring 100 years of Tesla's coming to the United States. It was in August 1984 in, during Olympic times. It was only 100 years. And you look at it, it's just, if you think about it, it's a one-man lifetime span. Uh, Tesla was 87 when he died in 1943. So just uh, you can think what happened in a one-man lifetime span that uh, Basically, at the beginning, before Tesla was born, there was no electrical age. And now we can't imagine anything without the electricity. And in fact, the man, the single man who actually made the electrical revolution possible is Tesla, as we'll see uh, later. <laughs>